This rather tricky abbreviation, SWATH, stands for Small Water Plane Area Twin Hull. You can think about it as two uh, submarine hulls connected through the superstructure, therefore not affected by waves and wind. We can also, through our ballast system, raise the two pontoons so that we have a catamaran with twin hulls which are wave-piercing in shape, uh, which enables us to travel efficiently at greater speed, still very smoothly and with good directional stability, not affected by wave heights. But when you're coming into uh, an operating area close to, say, wind turbines, and when you want to have extreme stability, you lower her down to swath mode, which gives us the ultimate when it comes to having a stable platform and, of course, enable a safe transfer of crew and personnel over to another working platform. They are aimed at the wind farm support industry and of course we think about optimizing the, the environment for crew as far as we possibly can. But perhaps even more important is to think about that the personnel that we're transferring from onshore activities out to offshore activities are not necessarily seafaring people. We like to think that our swath vessel is business class, if not first class. You can sit and you can relax, less noise and vibration affecting you, and therefore when you arrive on destination, you have all the energy that you need in order to do a safe job. It is classified as a passenger vessel, and that means that she uh, is built to what's called SOLAS regulation, which is the same as an ocean-going liner. So the same rules apply. And for us, we've added some additional safety features, like for example, a man overboard safety nets that enable us to recover a person that's uh, fallen aboard in, in a very uh, speedy and efficient way. The swath principle of two hulls quite far apart from each other, together with uh, our hydraulic uh, stern and bow thruster, our variable pitch propellers, all this gives tremendously good handling. Handling in such a way that you can move the vessel in any direction very easily. But of course, rather than move it, you can keep her also steady in one position, uh, regardless of wind and weather. And that then, in turn, enables a really safe transition of personnel from our platform to another platform. Our vessels are all built out of uh, what's called advanced composites. And at Danish Yachts, we particularly focus on carbon fiber. And this enables a very, very strong and light construction. The environment that these wind farms are operating, of course, by nature, is a harsh environment. They benefit from lots of wind, and with that comes heavy sea states as well. The carbon fiber benefits, apart from fuel efficiency and lightness, is also that it's got a very, very good wear resistance. It has less fatigue than metal structures, so the, the level of maintenance required over years is less. We worked in the past in military, commercial, retail markets. That enables us really to, to transition knowledge between these markets because one benefits from the other. I think Danish Yachts is rather special because of many things. You know, of course, our people, our facilities, but uh, perhaps uh, throughout all this, what counts as well is technology and our focus on advanced composites. It's about driving increased efficiency, less fuel consumption, you know, priorities that I think the world is, is, is working with now as much as it possibly can.